All right, good afternoon, everyone. As we get ready to start the year, we're going to start with the usual process uh, that we use, which is the scientific method. Um, this is just going to be an overview, and then once we come into class, we'll spend some time working with these ideas uh, to accurately prepare you for what's coming down the line. We all have a basic background of what the scientific method is at this point, but now we're just going to look at how we can actually apply it a little bit more and how we can work to collect more data and analyze that data and so forth. Um, first part of the process, of all as usual, is going to be our observation. With observation, it's just something that you notice, something that's around that you say, hey, I wonder why, I wonder how, those types of things. Based on that, you come up with your hypothesis, which is your educated guess or your um, prediction of why certain things happen, trying to describe what's going on. The experiment, where usually we think about having most of the fun. And then from there, we can go into one of two categories. It can continue going on through that process if you, you know, have to refine your hypothesis and whatnot. Or it can go into being, becoming a scientific law or a scientific theory. What's the difference between the two? Well, a theory, like, you know, the Big Bang Theory or the Theory of Evolution or, um, I'm sure there's some other theories we can probably throw in there. It's someone's attempt, or many people's attempt, to explain why something happens. So they're describing a process that they're not really sure of, but they're saying, based on these things, I believe this is what's happening. Now, how is that different from a scientific law? Well, when we think of a scientific law, we think of things like the law of gravity, the law of conservation of energy, law of conservation of mass. These are things that happen, but there's no explanation as to why. Usually it goes back to some math or some other things, but there is no definite explanation to describe why it happens. It's just known that this is how it is and this is how we'll proceed from there. Now, I want you to take, a, take your time and I want you to come up with a few other theories. What are some theories that weren't mentioned? And why do you think or what would be the obstacles to actually being able to prove them or make them a scientific law. We'll pick this up in class when you come in. Have a good one.